In this equation, we have Fe, that's iron, plus water. And the water, it needs to be in the form of steam. It has to be hot for this reaction to take place and to give us these products. Let's count the atoms up. We have one iron, two hydrogens, and one oxygen. On the product side, three irons, two hydrogens, and we have four oxygen atoms. Let's see, why don't we leave the iron till last? See, it's all by itself, so that'll be easy to balance. And let's try to balance these oxygens here. We could put a four in front of the H2O. So we'd have one times four, and that would balance the oxygen. So these are equal now, but we have two times the four. That gives us eight hydrogens, and we only have two here. That's not too bad though, because if we put a four as our coefficient in front of the H2, the hydrogen gas, two times four, that'll give us eight. So those are balanced. And we waited to do the irons because all we need to do is put a three in front of the Fe, one times three, that gives us three and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe plus H2O, iron plus water. Thanks for watching.